There's Mozart's Piano Sonata in B-flat major. There's Schubert's Sonata in A minor. And then there's the all-new Hyundai Sonata in a 14-step electrocharged paint rotodip. Because beautiful works of art are meant to last. So now that you've seen everything on the outside, let's check out what's on the inside of this baby. But before we do, I want to, do, I want to show you the special feature of this car. You see this button? This is actually the key, okay? Now I'm going to take this key away from me. All right. Now if the key is not with me and it's far off, very far, this car will actually not open. See, it's locked. But when I press this button, it won't open, okay? But when I got the key, there you go. And the key is in my pocket, in my other pocket, all right? When I press this button, there you go, baby, magic. You don't need any more keys to turn this on. But you might be wondering why there is still a key slot over here. Well, just in case something happens, is there's a backup key here. You press this button from the key, and you use that. And this is the same key that I will show you later on to open the glove compartment. All right, so come on inside, guys. I'm gonna show you one of the best features of this car. Check this out. See this thing over here? It's a button. Yes, it's a button, but it says engine start and stop. Now, you want me to start the car? Oh yeah, you want me to start the car? You want me to start the car, baby? Do remember to press the brake first if you want to start the car, right? Because if you don't press the brake, it's just going to shut off. Now, there are two tiny functions that I love this, about this car that, that are worth mentioning. They're not so techy, but they are just as important. You see here, over here on the glove compartment, you see that? That's a lock, meaning you can lock your glove compartment and keep all the safe, uh, you can safe keep all your belongings in there. Just get your key, press this button, and just like I showed you earlier, pop it out and you can lock your car with this, all right? Now on the steering wheel itself, I already told you about the stereo controls over here, right? Now on this side, you can actually, uh, this is the control menu for the cruise control. Cruise control is when you're driving on a highway, you just wanna turn on the cruise control. It's not an autopilot thing, but it's sort of like an autopilot thing where it'll, um, It'll run the speed by itself, and you can just drive the steering wheel. Well, that's it. You can turn it on here. You can control it. You can set it and do the settings over here. Another thing about uh, about the the bottom part here, you can see this is you can control your trips. If you are conscious about your gasoline expense or or, or your fuel consumption, you can you can monitor your trips over here. See, if I press this button, there's a mini uh, LED display over up here that can show you how far you've run, your consumption, see? And your average consumption right now, uh, elapsed time of the trip that you've had, uh, even you can turn, all, uh, turn on echo driving. Now, it also tells you the distance that you can drive until your tank goes empty. Isn't that cool? Now, you will never have to worry how far can you go with this amount of gas in your car, right? Because you have that, mine doesn't. This has that, all right? This LED display can also show you uh, a, when I go on reverse, okay? And when I back up, look at the LED display. I'm gonna back up, hold on. There you go. So there's, there's a car at the back. It'll give you a warning. See, of, of uh, any pedestrians or any object that's in the back, 
it'll tell you that you're already near that particular object. As it grows nearer, the alarm goes uh, louder and the, the lines go, it shows you, basically it shows you where the person is, if it's on the left side or the right side. Not the person, but the object or whatever, a dog, what, what have you in the back, it warns you with that. Okay, the transmission system. So you see on the transmission system, even with my lights off, there's a little uh, bright LED light here. So it can show you, quickly show you uh, where to move, all right? And down here is of course, this is called the tectronic driving. Semi-manual transmission, okay? So you can move either go one, two, or go up, up and down, right? Now the nice thing is, like a Formula One car, you can have uh, rear pedals. So you can actually, if you want to go semi-manual with this, you can actually operate it from the rear paddles here at the back, see? So you, if, you, if you watch closely here on top, there, I can move it up with just clicking this paddle. I can move it back down with this paddle. Now moving on to the side all the way to the top, let's start over here. As you can see here, there's a set of controls over here. What do you need to set on your car door? And when you see that, there's set one, two. What does that mean? It means that you have programmable seats, all right? There's a memory system over here that allows you to have two drivers with their own comfortable seating uh, settings. And then you got the full range of power stuff. It has power windows, power locks, and uh, power side mirrors. So you can control it all from your hand. And this little button here allows you to fold the side mirrors when you're parking on tight spaces. See? Now going up over here is the rain and light sensor. What is the rain and light sensor? What do you need a rain and light sensor for in your car? When this detects rain on your windshield, the wipers will automatically turn on. I know, you know, you can get so lazy, you can flick this with your fingers, but man, isn't that cool? Now going down to the rear view mirror, it's also automated. I mean, you can just flick this on, well that's already on, and what happens is, unlike the older cars where you have to flip it up and down, it gives you that reflection of the rear, this one will detect light from the, from the back side. So if somebody has a bright light on your back, you don't need to worry, because this automatically dims the light. So the, the auto tinting is not only limited to the rear view mirror itself, all the glass of this premium class Sonata is also equipped with solar control. Sounds very high tech, huh? Well, the solar control allows the glass all over the car to automatically tint if it, it's heated at the right amount of temperature. So when you're driving and it gets too hot, you don't have to worry about anything because the car tints itself. Yes, baby, it's true. Isn't that so cool? Now, since we're talking about glass, I'm gonna show you one piece of glass in this premium model that's gonna blow your mind away, okay? It's called the sunroof. By the flick of this button, it automatically opens up the, the, the cloth opening and then you push it up further, it opens up the sunroof. Now, this is called a panoramic sunroof or panor panoramic roof. As you can see, the normal sunroof would only be located here on the driver's side. But on this car, since it's panoramic, the, uh, the people sitting at the back can also get a good view of the starry, starry skies. Now you can just flick at it and it'll close. Amazing. You know what this thing lacks? Some audio soundtrack at the back going. You know what I mean, baby? Yeah, this baby transforms at least a little bit. Let me flick it for you one more time. Oh yeah, do it baby one more time. Woohoo! Bye mom, see you later. All right, cool huh? So that was it, the Hyundai Sonata and all the tech goodies that you find in the car. So this is what all you auto and tech lovers should drive starting today. Head on to Hyundai Cebu. All right. Tech Island will be right back.